Hip hop culture has infiltrated every aspect of American life, but someone tell this guy to stop. Welcome to the Museum of Artifacts That Made America and a piece of musical equipment that helped create hip hop, DJ Cool Herc's turntables. 1970s New York was characterized by two things, disco music and crime. Over in the Bronx, 16-year-old Jamaican immigrant Clive Campbell wasn't a fan of either. He spent his time spinning funk records at home. It's where he learned to mix one song into another using two turntables and a mixer. So when he played music for other people, the party never stopped. They called Campbell Hercules because he was stacked, probably from carrying all those records around. He adapted it for his stage name, DJ Cool Hurt, and put it on the flyer when his sister, Cindy, hosted a block party to raise money to buy school clothes. At the party, Herc tried out something new. Instead of mixing songs together, he looped the instrumental breaks instead, over and over again, and the crowd went wild. To be honest, Herc's trick was one of the greatest musical innovations of the 20th century. It changed how musicians look at technology, inspiring producers to make new songs by sampling old songs. Breakbeat blew up in the clubs, and combined with the emerging arts of emceeing, breakdancing, and graffiti tagging, made New York the birthplace of hip hop culture. So let's give it up for DJ Cool Herc's turntables, a musical artifact that made America get down. <laughs> 